Hey there and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the dumbbell alternating floor press and we're going to be taking a pronated grip with this exercise today. This is a great exercise for your chest. At the end of the video we're also going to be talking about some of the common mistakes that I want to make sure you guys avoid so make sure to stick around for that. First thing I want to, I want to just point out is make sure that you're flat on the ground. Make sure your lower back is not arched. It's completely in contact with the pad underneath you and that your knees are bent. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your elbows are coming down to around a 45 degree angle from your sides basically or just make sure that the dumbbell is coming down to the lower chest region and also make sure that when you're pressing that you're actually pressing over your chest and not over like your stomach or over your chin. Those tips are crucial and we're going to go over a couple more now uh, but before we do that here's a word from today's video sponsor. Me, I'm today's video sponsor and if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle there are a few ways I can help you down below. Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. Another key thing that you want to make sure you point, that I'm pointing out is that your forearms are perpendicular to the ground. So basically as you bring the weight down, you want to make sure <clears throat> that your your elbows and forearms are basically straight up and down you don't want to basically uh, basically if it wasn't straight up and down then the dumbbell would touch your chest your the dumbbell should not be able to touch your chest that's the reason why we do a floor press and it's a great exercise for beginners so as you bring it down your forearms are literally too long <laughs> to unless you got some freakishly short forearms then you can't touch your chest it's impossible if you do it on a bench press, however, you're going to get more range of motion. But like I said, this is a great beginner exercise and I highly recommend you guys do it. It will also help you prevent getting any muscle imbalances if you do them alternating because you're focusing on one side at a time. I mean, you can also just do the normal press, but if you want to get some like cardiovascular component, then doing these, you know, pretty uh, fairly uh, controlled, obviously, but still a little bit faster is going to help with that. Um, Another thing you want to make sure you're doing is that you're keeping your head nice and flat. Don't look back. Don't don't put a lot of tension on your neck. Just relax your neck and press over your chest. Also notice the tempo on which I'm doing it, especially if you're getting started. Don't try to do anything fast or anything, but I would just make sure you get the form down. And then if you want to speed it up to get some kind of com cardiovascular component, then you can do that. But the tempo is pretty smooth, so I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing it. I'm not like using momentum. I'm not rotating my torso to try to get the weight up higher. You want to make sure you do it this way, especially when you're starting off, and that when you're pressing up, you're bringing it together. So notice that I'm bringing the dumbbell across my chest as I'm pressing up. I'm not bringing it directly straight up from where my forearm was. I'm bringing it towards the center. So here's some common mistakes. We don't want to be doing half reps at the bottom of the range or half reps at the top of the range. You want to make sure that you're doing full repetitions all the time. That way you get the most out of this exercise in the safest way possible. Another common mistake is bringing the weight down to like your chin level. So notice my elbows are way too flared out. Also, make, also notice that I'm pressing downward. So you don't want to be pressing from the stomach up. And then lastly, you want to make sure that the dumbbells don't touch your chest and that you keep a 90 degree angle on your elbows when you're bringing it down.